Hi, John Palmer, Gretsch Drums Product Manager, and we're with you here today talking about Catalina Birch. We have uh, our assembled drum team, or Cognoscenti for Gretsch, and uh, we're going to check in here and, and uh, get into the Catalina Birch. The kit is, is an awesome kit. Um, we have different finishes, we have different configurations. Guys, why Birch? I think a, a different sound. You know, I think, uh, you know, a lot of people go with maple. Some people just want, you know, a different tone, more individual, you know, to that, to their, what they hear. Um, so, it's, you know, just something a little bit different. Maybe, you know, they're in the studio a lot. They just need something that has a little bit different tone, a little bit different, uh, you know, ability to control the overtones in, in a, you know, recording studio. It is a different tone, too, because from my experience, uh, they're really different than maple. and They're much more focused and controlled. Uh, they don't have the, the resonance that maple has. They have a little bit more punch. Yeah. And I think it's because, of, you know, the wood's denser. I think the fundamental pitch is lower. Mm -hmm. uh, the kick drums always stand out. It's really solid. Maple has always been the epitome sound, and, that you know, the Gretsch Maple kit is great. And then Birch came in and said, well, it's just, it's cool, it's different. And as a, you know, as a drummer, it's always nice to have a choice, you know, whereas I hear Maple is real big, warm mid-range and fat, and you'd lay into them and boom, they just kind of open up. Yeah. The Birch in my head kind of... focused Real a focused, more. Good, good word, lively, yeah. punchy, but yeah. with the low end warm, so it's not all high end, but it really is clear and, and, it, and it attacks and nice clear tones throughout the kit as you're going around so you hear nice distinctive voices. We're training here on uh, Catalina Birch. Yes, very so, impressed. Cool. Yeah. yeah. What, what are you hearing as a drummer? And you played a lot of kits. You played sure. a lot of brands. Yep. Uh, how does this drum set differ from from a lot of different kits that you played? It's uh, it's very powerful. Uh, you know, surprisingly powerful. You know, it's a standard kind of size kit, but the drums are just larger than life. But they're very focused, and you know, they're they're kind of a beefier, deeper tones. Mm. They, they come across a little stronger, mm -hmm. um, but very focused. And the, the th you know, the threshold of sound is so vast. They can be played very soft, or very loud, and they just keep going. Yeah. There's no, they don't top out yeah. anywhere where a lot of drums will, and they kind of just shut down. These just keep going. Yeah. With the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just like a good groove. Yeah, that's right. How about the finishes? Let's talk about the finishes because uh, you know something that we were looking for is to stimulate some exciting interest and you know really really target something that's yes we have the classic finishes but we also offer something that's a little more flashy. The yeah. halogen. Yeah, the halogen. I think that I've never seen anything like no, that. Not it's at all. something something that's kind of out of the ordinary. I think it multi prismatic halogen yeah. finish. It's like it radiates all these different colors. You look exactly, at it, yeah. you get reds, greens, blues, yellows, all kinds of cool things that, you know, the more you get up, someone made the comment about, hey, when the light hits it, it does all these great Yeah, it turns red things. or yeah. purple. 